हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू फाइंड इनवर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म यूजिंग डिविजन बाई टी प्रॉपर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी रिकॉल दिस डिविजन बाई टी इफेक्ट ऑफ लैप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म वी नो दैट लैप्लास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी अपॉन टी इज गिवन बाय इंटीग्रल ऑफ फाइव ऑफ एस डी एस ओवर द लिमिट एस टू इन्फिनिटी वेर एज this phi of s is laplace transform of f of t now i'll take this l on the other side so on the right hand side we have l inverse of integral of phi of s ds taking this t also on the other side we have right hand side t into l inverse of integral of phi of s ds this is now equal to f of t but this f of t is nothing but inverse laplace transform of phi of s so if i replace this left hand side by l inverse of phi of s we have now l inverse of phi of s is given by t into l inverse of integral of this same phi of s ds over the limit s to infinity now we see an example in which we will use this technique to evaluate inverse laplace transform here question is find inverse laplace transform of s upon a square plus a square the whole square so this is our phi of s phi of s is s upon a square plus a square the whole square by the technique which we just saw l inverse of phi of s is t into l inverse of integral of phi of s ds over the limit s to infinity now we first evaluate this integral for that we will use substitution technique and will put s square plus a square is equal to z after differentiating this we have 2s ds is equal to dz therefore s into ds is dz upon 2 therefore integral of s upon s square plus a square the whole square ds is now equal to integral of dz upon 2 into 1 upon z square let us evaluate this integral integral of 1 upon z square is minus 1 by z this 1 by 2 remains as it is since z is a square plus a square we have value of this integral is minus 1 upon 2 times a square plus a square substituting this value of integral over here we have l inverse of phi of s is t into l inverse of 1 upon minus 2 into a square plus a square over the limit s to infinity now we put limits in s when we put infinity in s we have minus 1 upon infinity which is 0 and then when we put s in this s we have minus of minus of 1 that is plus 1 upon 2 times a square plus a square this 2 is constant you can take it out so we have l inverse of phi of s is equal to t upon 2 into l inverse of 1 upon a square plus a square and this is nothing but laplace transform of 1 by a sin at so inverse laplace transform of s upon a square plus a square the whole square is equal to t by 2 into 1 by a sin at I hope you understood how to use this division by t technique to find inverse laplace transform of phi of s. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.